This video will demonstrate creating several high-speed via structures from within the Allegro PCB editor. Note that you must have the high-speed option or an equivalent license in order to generate and work with high-speed via structures. The first via structure we're going to create will be just a series of C lines. The rules have changed a little bit with high-speed via structures. With standard via structures, you can only create a via structure that was going from a pin to a via, and that was it. With high-speed via structures, we can use more items. So in this case, we're going to create a via structure with multiple C lines, but only C lines. So we're going to use the route via structure create high speed command. We'll give this a name. Let's call this breakout. In my find window, I want to make sure, I'm just going to do, I don't have to do this, I'm going to make sure I only have C lines turned on. I'm going to drag a window around these C lines. Notice that they're all selected. We're prompted down the bottom, enter selection point. So I'm going to choose the top left hand point here. Now in this case, since I only have C lines, I do not have any return path connections. So I'm going to say no. And it's going to create a breakout.exml file in my current working directory. With high speed via structures, you don't get a standard XML file, you get an EXML file, which is an a encrypted XML file. So I'm going to say save. And again, the reason we got that EXML file was because the auto export option was turned on. Let me pan down here a little bit. We're going to work over here. We're going to this time create a structure that has C lines, some vias, a void, this is a custom void, and then some also return path vias. So we're going to call this dp underscore square return path. Now since I'm going to do everything including vias and shapes and things like that, I want everything turned on, vias, scene lines, and shapes. We we'll just select everything. Again, we get the prompt to enter a selection point. We'll just select right here. Now this time I do want to add return path via, so I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to select these four vias. Now that I'm done, I can do a right mouse button, complete return path. And again, that's going to be saved to my current working directory. Let's work on another one. We're going to take this one here. This has trace and C lines and a static shape on it. This is a static shape here. So let's create another via structure. We'll call this multi via. We're going to select on those vias and C lines. Notice down the bottom that we had a warning come out. It basically said, it looked in that area and said, okay, I got some shape, I got shapes on there. And we look at our visibility window. Notice that not every single layer is turned on in my design. There are some shapes on other layers that are connected to these vias, but they're not displayed. And when we're creating our via structures, you can only create them with what is visible. So what I want to do now is I'm going to turn on all of my etch layers. Etch layers, I'm going to turn them all on, and all my plane layers. I'm going to reselect all this. So now I'm going to reselect all this after doing my oops. Notice now I did not get a warning. I want to have a origin of this. I'll select there, and we'll save that EXML file. All right, let's do one more. This one is kind of just another standard one. It has return path vias, shapes, 
and avoid. The shapes are the fillets on these vias, and this is a custom void. So let's give this one a name. DP inline return path. I'm going to select everything. It's going to give us an origin. And I'll say, yes, I want these to have the return paths. I'm going to use this via and that via. Do a right mouse button, complete return path, and that'll be saved to disk. So you notice that all the different ones, there's breakout, DP inline return path, which I'm working on right now, DP square return path, which is right there, and multi via, which is right there. So all these EXML files are being saved to disk because of my auto export option. I'll do a save, and I've now created several high-speed via structures. This completes the video that demonstrated creating several high-speed via structures from within the Allegro PCB editor.